So today we focus on one of the dinos that I hate the most in this game. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you know how I feel about the Camto. But there has been some recent changes to the Camto, and we're going to see if it actually makes him better or if he's still one of the useless, most worst dinos in the game ever. But let's find out. Now, one thing I give about him is his sprinting speed. He has a really fast sprinting speed, 1200, which is the third highest sprinting speed in the game. Um, so him being able to just get in and out of situations just to become a nuisance or annoying, um, he can do whatever you want, but with this speed and with his very slow stamina drain, that can really play out, especially if you're in packs with other Camptos or other ankle biters. Uh, having like good speed like this with that slow stamina drain is really good. I believe even if you just jump regular, you don't lose that much stamina as you would if you were another dino. I could literally be running probably for like a few minutes straight with no breaks and travel from like one point of the map to the other end with no issues. So when it comes to traveling and just overall stamina, Camto is pretty good. I'll give him that. He has 500 HP, which is pretty average for someone his size. He actually has more HP now than the Sarko. After the Sarko's HP got nerfed, the Camto has more health than the Sarko, which is pretty funny. He has 1200 combat weight, which is a hundred less combat weight than the Flyer, the Delasso. He has really good stamina recovery as well. Now, when it comes to his moveset, there was a few changes. So he still has a regular biting attack, and his bite attack does 20 damage, which is very fairly weak, but, you know, understandable. I mean, it's not like the camp is going to have a bite attack that does 100 damage. They added in senses, but didn't put any ability. For front limb, they added that in. No abilities for that category either. And then for hide, they did add two new hides, resilient scales and tough scutes. Tough Scutes increases your armor by 25%, and Resilient Scales increases your bleed and venom healing by 30%. Or you can do Lightweight Scales, which increases your speed, but it decreases your turning speed by 40%, and decreases your armor by 10%. This is possibly the worst thing you could put on a Camto. Why would you decrease his turning speed with how fast he is? That can really hurt you. And why would you decrease your armor when he's already weak? For legs, they did add a new hop away ability, which lets you rapidly hop forward to escape danger. But it does use up your stamina. We're going to test that out in a second. For back limb, they have no ability here as well. And then for voice, they have alert call, which is group members deal 20% increased damage with their next attack when out of combat. Now, it doesn't say they have to be a certain dino. So I'm assuming any type of herbivore, whether it's a trike or a bars, they will deal 20% increased damage for their next attack when out of combat, which can be good if you're about to start a fight and you're not in combat yet. That first move that you land on them with this buff is going to do 20% increased damage. Now, if we just test out his moveset, so you have the regular bite attack, which is pretty fast, only like a one second cooldown. Then you have the voice call, the new one. So let's see how that sounds. Okay, so it's like his regular roar. And it lasts for a minute. Oh, you get a minute to actually use that buff. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then you have the leaping ability, which is the new one they added. Oh, you have to do... Okay. So it's hopping automatically. I'm not even touching anything right now. And it's just hopping. Wow, and it lasts a while. Look how... Because of our good stamina drain, that lasts a while. And now that's perfect for a getaway. Now, when it comes to his hop away ability, all you have to do, you can do it while standing still and you just activate it. Tap it once and you're automatically running. Right now, I'm not even touching anything and we're just, we can turn and everything. But you can see the hopping now, it's like a kangaroo and we can get away from any enemy chasing us. We could troll them, taunt them, and it lasts for a while. And because our stamina drains so slow, we can do that for a while and then after still run around and mess with them. Imagine a group of those hopping around like a kangaroo, a group of these campos messing with you. That is crazy. So I'll admit, these little changes does make the Camto a little better. But what do I not like about the Camto? For one, he has the most annoying vocal selection I've ever heard in my life. Especially his main one. Another thing is, I just don't like the way he looks. I just feel like he looks very weird. And I heard, like, in real life, the Camto was supposedly bigger than how he is in this game. Let me know. For all you dinosaur experts, let me know in the comments if that's true. And originally, I just, I don't know. I just, uh, he's not my go-to dino, you know? Even if I don't really play ankle biters, but if I were to play an ankle biter, it wouldn't really be a Camto. But with his new ability and the leaping ability as well, I might can see myself playing him more just for this ability and the ability to troll and mess with people. And just, you know, stuff like that. And with the voice call, with the increase. So, okay. 
I'll give him, they did a good job buffing the camp though. But do I think he is worth growing now after the update? I'm embarrassed and ashamed to say yes. I think he's definitely worth growing if you just want to have some fun. If you want to party up with other ankle biters and just troll people, be annoying. That can be fun. Um... I'll personally never play him, but I think he could be worth your time growing with these new abilities and this new update. So definitely hop on a camp though. Can't believe I just said that and go have some fun. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the camp though after the update. And do you think he's worth playing and do you like how he is now? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments what dino you want me to do next for this series. And don't forget to subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.